Hello, good afternoon, everyone. Nice to talk to you again. I am Jenny. Welcome to our mainlander's voice. First of all, I would like to show you something, and you can make a guess what they are. Some typical Chinese things. And this, they are red ones, right? They are painted red. Yeah, four, four pairs. And this. Black. And this is something I usually carry on with me. I will bring it as often as possible. I guess you can see this, right? You can you, you can guess it, it right? And the last. I guess you always see this in restaurants, right? Yeah. So, you know the answers, right? They are chopsticks. Yeah. The Chinese chopsticks. Yeah. And I've shown different uh, materials, right? The wood, the wood, uh, the bamboo, and the steel, right? I can't get any other uh, materials, although I read in some study that our empress usually have uh, the jade or the gold uh, chopsticks, as you see, right? They are very precious to show their dignity, right? Yeah, but we common people can't get that kind of thing because uh, they are too expensive, yeah, and we couldn't afford them. And uh, it is very certain that uh, we Chinese ancient people created uh, the chopsticks, right? And uh, there are uh, also so many stories about the creation. And it has a, around maybe 3,000 years of the creation. And here I would like to uh, show you a, a bit romantic one about the creation. It was said that there was an <coughs> emperor and a queen, you know. The emperor had such a bad temper that every time when the cook served the food, uh, if the food was too hot for him to, to eat, he would get furious and uh, kill, kill the cook. So every time the cook were, were very careful to serve the food. And one time when uh, the emperor wanted to to enjoy the, the lunch maybe and the queen found that uh, it is still so hot and she was afraid that the cook would be killed again so she used his her her had had happy you know something like the chopsticks the, the jade happy to serve us the chopsticks and to hold the hot food to serve the emperor and the emperor was so happy about that and the the workman you know who 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 was so afraid that they use this idea to bring the chopstick out. The, this is one legendary about the creation of the chopsticks. Although it is a bit uh, romantic, uh, I guess maybe you, you, you haven't uh, read about this kind of story. Uh, the emperor and the queen had a bad thing. They, they are Shang Zhou Wang and Da Ji, yeah, who have done who, who had done so much harm to the common people, you know. They got so much from the people and at last the common people uh, <clears throat> tear the emperor tear the dynasty down, yes. And Usually, I think maybe it's very hard for you to to use the chopsticks to 
enjoy the food, right? Uh, <coughs> uh, here's one saying in our hometown that when the person who holds the chopsticks uh, nearer the head, yeah, uh, that means uh, he or she will not leave home very far. But if a person likes to hold the chopsticks, you know, away from the head, that means he or she may leave home w w when he or she grows up. I don't know if it's true or not, but uh, like uh, 1,000 readers have 1,000 uh, hand blades, right? Uh, I noticed that different people have different ways to hold chopsticks. And I don't know if my way is right or not. I use it in this way, yeah. And and there are so many interesting thing interesting things about the chopsticks, especially when some uh, Westerners use this. And you know, I read one story about the our <coughs> minister Zhou Enlai. You know. Yeah, Zhou Enlai once served uh, some gov some dignity government officials from other countries. Some are from uh, maybe the Western world, and some are from the ancient world, and they have they are they they found it so difficult to hold the precious chopsticks to get the food, you know. So at the at last the uh, Mr. Joe asked uh, people to change their chopsticks with the, paw, with the fork and knives, as you see, right? <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Uh, <coughs> next time, I would like to uh, give you more details about the chopsticks. Yeah. And this is what I want to share with you today. And bye-bye. See you next time.